Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Richard N and today you are welcome to Fast Giddy Tutorials. Today on Fast Giddy, I'm going to quickly take us over to uh, Zapier. And on Zapier today, I'm going to teach us how to create you know Zapier agent. Uh, while doing this, we're going to need to understand what Zapier agent is and what we can actually use them for. So just to be fast, Zapier agents are tools within Zapier that can be able to help us achieve tasks by using our own very own, you know, our very own tools. Okay. So it's more like you giving somebody, a, you know, a role saying, okay, today you're my driver, take my car, go to the market, get me things. And then when you return, load them up to the stores, right? That is what an agent could do for us on Zapier. Now it is quite different from the normal, usual, uh, in automations that we've been doing because automations cannot function without you, you know, giving them the the you know the roles to carry out tasks. But this, um, but then these Zapier agents are going to be able to perform even if we're not there, right? So, so how do we create Zapier agents? In order to create a Zapier agent, you need to go into your Zapier accounts. I know we have a video before now. Where we talk about how to create a Zapier account and how to perform Zaps. So this time around, we are going to build agents. And right here on your Zapier interface, you can see that here we have tables, we have interfaces, we have chatbots, we have canvas, and then we have agents. So this agents is what we are going to uh, be using today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on this uh, Zapier agent here. When you click on it, it's going to open up on this uh uh you know on this new tab here and this is a new tab so normally if you're new it's going to ask you some kind of things and all of that you also just to respond but now i just want to like go and click on this new agent so i'm going to click on new agents and right here for this new agent it is asking me what i wish to do you say create a custom agent what would you like this agent to do so to be able to describe, I want this agent to be one that whenever, uh, you know, it's a new day, it's going to go to my invoices and check one that is, you know, overdue. So the job is just to help me solve some of the issues I'm having, maybe going through my sales book, going through my invoices, calling the customers or emailing the customers and say, hey, Mr. Joshua, you have an overdue invoice please kindly pay up right so this agent is going to be that in fact it's going to be doing that for me while i sleep so it's going to do this every day by a specific or by a specified time that is just what it needs to do for me so i'm going to do this and before you do that you need to describe what this is here so it says describe your workflow so i'm going to go to my notepad and i'm going to bring up my description here so this is what i want it to do for me i'm going to just bring this up don't worry I'm still going to add this up on the description so you can be able to download and use for yourself, right? So I'm going to tell it to, I'm going to paste my instructions here. So I says you are an account, you know, you are an account receivable assistant for the, you know, for Tower Nitrogen PLC. Every morning at 8 a.m., check the invoices, fresh sheets in Google Sheets. Look for any rules where the status column is unpaid. The due date is before today's date. For each of our due dates, send a polite payment reminder email to the customer using the email addresses in the customer uh, email column. Include the customer name. I think I'm going to bring it a bit down. Okay. Uh, customer's invoice. So this means that this is going to check for my invoices and it's going to look for any of the, you know, it's going to look on the spreadsheet. It's going to find on the column that is saying on page under the status of the invoices so any invoice that has a status of unpaid is going to pick it out and it's going to also look for the due dates so it's going to take note of the due date and then the unpaid uh you know um column so with this thing now it's going to be able to draft a polite payment reminder to the customer and on this email it's going to include the customer's uh, first name the customer's invoice number the customer's uh um, amount that the customer is owing and also the original due date which must have passed yeah and then it's going to still include the link for the customer to click and then go and 
pay us our money, right? So it's going to use a friendly reminder and then it's going to send this out with our business email, right? So this is just our, uh, you know, our description or what we want this, uh, you know, agent to do for us on Zapier. So when you're done putting this like this, your next to do is to click on start building. And you click on start building. And from here, you just allow it to think it through and then, you know, process what he wants to, you know, what he wants to do for you. Just give it time. It's going to come up and it's going to start working. So here, you can see that it is now done uh, loading. So ours is now to start adding up things, right? So here on this um, uh, on this uh, uh, agent dashboard, you can see that here we have the trigger. So this is what must happen for this uh, our agent to start acting, right? So here we have scheduled by Zapier every day, and you can see that it has actually given us uh, a name for this uh, agent, which is overdue invoice reminder sender, right? So this means that this agent is meant to look for overdue invoices, and then it, it is to send a reminder to whoever is on that invoice, right? So now, before now, let me go and update my. I'm going. I need to go and update my spreadsheet. So this is my Google sheet here. And you can see that I have everything right here. These are the customers' names. This is the email addresses. This is the invoice numbers and so on and so forth. So I'm just go likely going to say, I'm going to click this one as unpaid. You can see that this one is, is unpaid. These two here are unpaid and they are being owned by Cynthia Bighead. So let me just quickly change his name to Cynthia Bighead. Okay, then also Felix, also for Philip Nguzo, right? So the the agent is going to look through this, uh, going to look through this invoice, and you can see that we have the customer name, customer email, invoice number, product, phone number, due date, status, payment link, right? So these are all we're going to need to work with, and then at the end of the day, it's going to be able to update here and say, okay, maybe reminder sent, and it's going to put the dates of which that reminder was sent so that is just our invoice how it looks like and right here it's going to be on our it's going to be on our spreadsheet sorry on our google sheet you can see that the invoice is already here this is invoice here so i just want to make a few updates i'm going to change the email for these guys i'm going to change this on to probably let me just say it like this okay let me put that one there and for this one i'm going to change it to something else Okay, let me just change it to uh, this. Okay, so I think that's okay now. So I'm not going to, you know, save it so that it goes back to my, uh, you know, my Google Drive. So it's now updated. You can see that it's showing the time when I updated, which is 501. So now I'm ready now. So I have to create my stuff now. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to start adding tools, right? But before then, I need to set the time for this to start running so you see where it says schedule by zapier here every day i'm going to click on this and you can see when it's asking me for the time of the day i'm going to set it to 8 a.m because here it says 8 a.m right so i'm going to click on what i'm going to set this to 8 a.m which is like this so when you're done with that set double you do click on save right okay now the next thing i want to do here is that i want to add the tools you can see that here we have a tool you know the add tools filter so i'm going to add a tool here Okay, and from here, you can see that uh, Zapier actually allows us to add a lot of tools, over 7,000 uh, tools or apps that we can actually work with. So I'm going to click on here. And of course, we are sending the agent to go to our Google uh, Sheets and look for stuff there. So we're going to click on Google Sheets here. Okay, now that we've clicked on that now, we need to tell it what to look out for. So we need to tell it to look up spreadsheet rules right so i'm going to click on this one so that it's going to look out on the spreadsheet rules and then we still need to add another thing here because it's going to do two things on google sheets for us it's going to look on the rules okay for on you know for the due date and then it's going to also be able to like send an email so i'm going to I'll click on add tools again so i'm going to click on this add tools and i'm going to click on this one and you can see that we have gmail here because it, it's going to need gmail to be able to add, you know, to be able to send a mail. So I'm going to click on Gmail and then I'm going to scroll down here until I find send. You can see that we have send email here. Cool. I'm going to, I'm going to click on this one now. 
cool now i still need to add one more tool so i'm going to click on this add more tool again then come back to this all tools go to go to a uh, uh, google sheet then you need to come down to to where you say update i think we have to so have something like update yeah because it needs to update spreadsheet through so you can see that we have a spreadsheet through here uh say update one or more spreadsheets i just want to say okay update spreadsheet through now click on this so now we are good with our setup so now we need to drag this to where you want it to be like we need to drag it to where i want it to be like but before they let us set this up correctly so i'm going to click on this small setup gear here click on this gear and here we need to specify what or uh, which google drive account or google account we are working with so we need to click on here and you know i've already done mine before now but if you have to do yours you need to click on connect this new account it's just the same way that you did it when you actually did your first zap the same way applies right so i've actually done that okay so now it says we should look for our drive say now we, we have to specify which drive so when you click on this drive here you need to say set a specific value for this fee because you want to tell zapier which drive you want to work with so i need to click on set a specific value for this field now i need to click on this one where it says my google drive you click here and then ensure that this box is checked okay now 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 it's asking us which of the spreadsheet in our google drive are we going to work with so you need to click here i need to say set a specific value for this field Just click on here and now choose the value so which google uh, sheet are we working with so we are working with the invoice because we told the the agent to work with our invoice right so we need to click on this invoice here and the worksheet is going to be worksheet one Just click this and then select worksheet one and they can leave everything here as is right so we need to click on save okay now we can see that we, we still have our email here so i need to click on this gear as well so the email is already set up here like i said before so i think that one is cool right so now you can see that we have uh google sheets here we see updates update uh update uh, spreadsheet row you can click on this gear here and of course this is going to be the same account and then you need to specify which sheets you are doing that with of course it's going to be in your google drive and then which spreadsheet you can set a specific value for that and then you need to set it to be on the invoice once you're done with this you can now click on uh save right so at this point now you now you can see that we have three tools here the lookup spreadsheet the email uh tool and then we have the updates uh, row you know update uh, sheet row so now we, now we need to place this where they have to be so when you read this instruction you say assess you say assess the invoice spreadsheet in google sheets okay say search for rows where the status blah 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 so this one means that now we say search for so this is where our lookup uh tool is going to be on so this, so this is our lookup spreadsheet you need to hold it and then we can drag it up here okay you can see that it is now here so the next thing i want to do now is we want to put the one that is going to send an email for us so we say you can see here you say send the email from this right you say use a friendly professional to represent you know, blah 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 send email so we need to drag this one that is belonging to the mail here drag it up here and then put it here Okay, so this one means that it's going to work with this now so we have the last one which is which is say it says update spreadsheet through so it says update this the we said update the reminder sent column in the spreadsheet with today's date so i need to drag this one up here and then put it right here so that is where it needs to be so at this point now it's not going to be uh for us to start testing our work if it's going to work so i'm going to need to test it's where they say agent preview here I will click on agent preview okay now i'll click on that now the next thing i want to do is that i want to test the agent so you can click test now to check if what you did is going to work correctly so i'm going to click on test and then let us see now so we are going to give it some time to do its thing and then tell us if it actually found something or not right so we are going to give, just give it some time if sometimes you can need sometimes you might need like two minutes for it to run and then update itself so you can see that here it says that you say i found two invoices 
Now I need to check which ones are overdue by comparing their due date to today's date. So today's date is August 26th. So the invoice is going to show its due date. So this one, the first one, the due date here is 23rd of August. Second one, the due date is 24th of August. So it has seen that this one is already overdue with two days. This one is already overdue with three days, right? So now you can see that it's actually going to send a mail. It says both invoices are overdue. Let me send payment reminder emails to both customers, starting with Cynthia Biget. So you can see that it's not going to find out that Cynthia Biget actually has an overdue invoice. So it's going to craft this mail for me. You see, it's going to craft the mail. So it, so it has already crafted the mail. It's going to send it to, to Cynthia Biget's email address. And it's going to start with, Dear Cynthia, I hope this email finds you well. This is a friendly reminder that your invoice is now overdue and requires your immediate attention. So it's going to pull out the invoice number, which is this uh, 104. The amount is $48. And then the original due date, which was August 23. And then the product that they offer, which is bleaching cream. Yes, Cynthia likes a lot of cream, you know. So it says your payment is now three days overdue. So this and that. So at the end of the day, it's going to send all this one to the customer. And when they are done, they're going to receive the email. So now I think everything here is correct. I can be able to say, okay, approve. So now when I click on approve now, we have to go and check if Cynthia actually received the mail. So I'll click on this approve here. Okay. We will click on approve now and we will now see if it's going to send the mail to Cynthia or not. Right. So you can see that it's saying, now let me check. Uh, now you say, now let me send Say, no, let, let me send the payment reminder to Philip Nguzo, to Philip Nguzo and all of that. So you can see that it has also found that, that, that Philip Nguzo also has issues with the payment. So uh, so yours is just to like, because you're still testing now, you just have to like approve. Once you're approved now, it's going to be able to like send the mail, right? So let us check if these people actually got their mails. So I need to go to my uh, Gmail. This one is for Philip Nguzo. Okay, let us see if the mail actually came. So this is for Phil Felix and Guzo. Let us see if the mail came. I haven't gotten anything here yet, but I know it's going to come right. So let us just hope and see. Let me check my spam if it came. Okay, it's going to come. We need to go back to our uh, our Zapier agent and then see what is happening, you know, what is still holding it back. So I need to approve this one now. Let me approve it. Once you approve it now, it means that it's going to you know send the mail right because you have approved it now so let us now check our mail so you can see that we have we can see that here now we have otawa plc limited you say dear philip i hope this email finds you well this is a friendly reminder that your invoice is now overdue and requires immediate attention blah 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 blah, blah and so on and so forth so this is a payment link upon which uh you know felix is going to click and then go and pay sorry philip is going to click on this link to go and pay for what you ordered and it's going to know how much it's going to be paying us for and all of that so this is just how you can actually create uh, 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 a payment uh, reminder uh, you know a agent using uh, Zapier agent so let me check the one for 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 Cynthia Biggie let us see if she if she got her mail so yes we can actually see that Cynthia actually that Cynthia actually got her mail can see that Cynthia actually got hers it says dear Cynthia I hope this email finds you well, blah, blah, blah. The same message goes, right? So yes, you can actually create this uh, email and you can actually use your, your Zapier agent to achieve all of this and help yourself. This can actually help you to maybe save money, you know, and also save time. So don't forget that this is also your favorite FASB tutorials. Remember to keep a date with us as we're going to keep making interesting uh, content. So. I'll see you in the other time. Bye-bye.